It is Manchester United 1. FC Copenhagen new Manchester United collecting three points today in the Champions League. Yes, three points that was so needed today, especially for the fact that the late but Sir Bobby Charlton passed away. This one was for you, Sir Bobby Charlton. You deserve these three points. So did we in this Champions League match, but you especially rest in peace. But Manchester United. You made it so damn hard for Manchester United fans to go through that whole game, you know. We was in heartaches, you know, especially in the dying seconds. Oh, na, 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 na. Oh, na, 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 na. Oh, na, na. What's my name? Oh, na, na. What's my name? Oh, na, 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, na, 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 na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, na, na. Dying seconds. Saving us from... Get him just only a point in that game. But he saved us and we collected the three points because he made that last minute save. And that referee, you tried to destroy my night. You know, you tried to ruin us Manchester United fans night by just giving us this heartache at the end. How dare you, referee? How dare does that referee do that to us? But you know what? Nevertheless, Manchester United got that win. And I'll start again from the first 45 minutes because I'm, I'm going to get straight to it because we was shit. In that first 45 minutes, it was a horrible start for Manchester United. It was a horrible ending. We sucked to the maximum. We sucked. We fully sucked. Seriously, there's nothing more I can say. Manchester United was worrying. The fact that we played against FC Copenhagen and unable to dominate that team in the first 45 minutes, we, we was relaxed. No, we, no, we was relaxed. I might just say we was high. We was on something. Because we was very, very, very zen, you know. Allowing them to do exactly what they wanted to do, Copenhagen. And you imagine, we're all traffic. And we still play that with the away team. We are the wayside. It, it was also a boring first half. It was so damn boring. In the 44th minute, the referee broke the whistle for half time. At one point, while I was doing my live stream, out and, and I saw that it was 44 minutes, I'm like, hey, no, wait a minute. Am I, am I, be, am I behind? Am I, what, am I, was that oh, behind? Am I like five minutes behind? No, turned out I wasn't. Turned out the referee was born and said, fuck this shit. I'm going to blow this half time right now. No added time. Never seen that in my life in the Champions League. I have never seen that. I thought I was watching the African Cup of Nations, you know. But it wasn't. It was the UEFA Champions League. I couldn't believe the referee did that. But it, it had to because I was bored as well. You know, it had to call that first 45 minutes. Nil nil at half time. Second off, us Manchester United fans were thinking, you know, we need to step it up, like. You, you you can't do this to us, like. We need these three points. Just think about Bobby Charlton. Like, this is for Sir Bobby. Do it for Sir Bobby. And as soon as the second off started, and I noticed that our manager, Eric Ten Hag, made that substitution, taking off Amrabat and bringing on Ericsson, still keeping him with Tomine on. And I was thinking, you're supposed to be taking the Tomine off. Where's the defensive stability? Where is the balance? I was like, we are fucked. Fucked. We're, not, we're, not, we're gonna invite a lot of pressure in midfield. We'll, our midfield's already fucked. It's already in tatters. But guess what? I was wrong because when Ericsson came in, everything started happening. You know, Ericsson distributing, giving Marcus Trash for the chance. You know, Marcus Trash making the wrong decisions as always when he's supposed to. Time is run. He doesn't. It's when when Bruno fed him in as well, uh, which was the perfect part. And it had to be Bruno Fernandez and Rashford. That. That one is them two are like dumb and dumb and dumb and dumb, and dumb and, you know. It just it's just it's just it's just it's just comedy between them two. And then again, er, um, Erickson gives the ball to Rashford. Rashford mistimes his touches, and then the ball rolls on. Same as Ali Hondro Gonacho. We was thinking, when is it gonna end, Rabi? When is it gonna end? It was going to end soon because you know why? The guy we have said we wanted out. Back to back solid performance today from Slab and Maguire. Slab and Maguire ensures that we get the goal. Do you know why? He scores the goal with his big fat head, you know, the fridge himself. And and it was wonderful because it was the it was the second set piece goal we scored for a very long time. Especially this season. Set piece number two. That's what he did. He scored that and he was celebrating rightly so, man. And I would take it. Harry Maguire, thank you very much. But I still want you sold, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I still want you sold. But thank you. Thank you for the three points. But then, to the end, the climax. And you can't just, you cannot write this. 
40, 94th minute, the last minute of the four minutes at a time, the, there was a foul. Scott McTominay. Is everything okay in there? Are you all right? Are you all right? To do all of that, are, are, are you all right? You're not all right. My friend, you gave me a heart attack. You gave me a heart attack. You gave all of us a heart attack, thinking, oh, no, we are so screwed in the Champions League. One point is that we are telling me, ref. And I just thought, wait a minute, this can't be a penalty. VAR came into action, never saved our ass. It was a penalty. It was a goddamn penalty. And then, oh, na, 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 na. Andre, oh, na, na, come off the hour. Come off the man. He saves it. He reaches out and saves it. Oh, oh, Nana, thank you very much. You and Maguire saved us when we owe you. We need to apologize, Andre and Nana, because he came up, he stood up when it was important. What a lovely way to end the match. And I, 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 I'm so happy to get the three points, but I am absolutely angered with the performance, as always. Come this weekend against Manchester City, it's Good night, Vienna. It's curtains for us. We're getting RIP. We're going to be put on a T-shirt in a spliff. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? In a spliff. <sighs> My players, why should they? Let me talk about a couple of players because I thought Rashford was trash as well. Bruno Fernandes was trash as well. You know, Hoyland, we didn't find him at all, man. Maguire, big ups to you as well with Varane in defence. And with Dalo, because you guys done your thing as well, Nana as well, with some good saves as well, Nana, with that penalty save. Brilliant. Man of the match today for me, guys, has to go to the, the guy who scored, Maguire. You know, he got the goal. Nothing more I can say about that. He saved us as well. And of course, Donkey of the match has to go to Marcus Rashford, because he was shit. No, seriously, he was shit. I can't say any more. No, he was horrible. No, we can't. Are you? I'm technically going to do this. Wrong decision making all the time. How? Well, one plus one equals two, but Marshall will tell you it equals four. Oh, I love that guy, but he stresses me out, man. He needs to fix up. But anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction for Manchester United versus FC Copenhagen. Let me know in the comments below who your man of the match was as well, who your donkey of the match was as well, and what are your thoughts on the game? Did you think Manchester United played well, or did you think we need to improve? Guys, you guys let me know. And also, I'm back live Thursday, 5 p.m. UK time for your latest Manchester United news. And of course, make sure you check all the, um, the schedules. I always, I always upload the schedules early in advance, and we've got the watch long this weekend. God help us, you know. Oh, guys, it is what it is, man. As always, remember to keep it united. And remember to keep it ready now and smash that like button and share. Peace!